Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make black pepper chicken. So what you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make this. There are a lot of things going into this, but it has the best taste when you get this done. This is something that you really will enjoy eating. Um, you serve it over rice. It has such a great taste. And I got to say, this is really worth the effort. Just need to make sure that you have a pound of chicken to work with on this and we're using green pepper red pepper some onions some minced garlic and a bunch of different things just to bring this about which is going to be a great meal so i think if you try this you just might like it so we're going to start off by making some rice which you're going to need about i would say anywhere from a half of a cup to a cup of dried rice and then you know that when you mix this together a half a cup of dried rice to a cup of water depending on how you're doing this and add a little salt to it and cook it by the directions on the packaging and then once we get done with that we'll move on to our chicken which you need to cut off all the fat we want to make sure we get that all off of there and just cut it into small pieces we're just basically going for little hunks of meat here um, I usually just slice mine down the center and then cut across it until I get actual pieces of chicken that I can use in the recipe um, you're gonna use at least two chicken breasts if you're doing this which basically we're just doing this in a way that we have about a pound of chicken so go ahead and cut that up make sure you have smaller pieces and then when we're done with this we're going to move on to the next step so you're going to need a bowl because we're going to actually put the chicken into a bowl and add some ingredients to it so that way we can actually get a little bit of a coating on the outside of our chicken so we're going to use one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of cornstarch in this and we're going to mix it in and just do it by spatula by hand however you want to do this just mix it up till you actually get it completely coated. So as you can see, this is going in quite well in the bowl. Just go ahead and mix it up. Um, and once it is done, we're going to set this to the side. And if you use your hand, wash your hands. Um, otherwise, we'll move on to the next step. Because we're going to start mixing some things up in a large bowl after this. So you're going to need a half a cup of chicken broth. Then we're going to add to this one tablespoon of vinegar. To that, we're adding two tablespoons of soy sauce, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And then after that, we have two teaspoons of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt and once we get these all into our bowl we're gonna mix it up just to get them combined enough to where they can be set aside until we need them because we will stir this again before we put it into our skillet so just go ahead and mix that up and set it to the side now in a large skillet we're gonna go to medium high heat and put in at least a tablespoon of oil maybe a little more and get this heating up and then once that's ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in the chicken that we already had mixed up with our coating. Now you're going to have this over medium high heat. So what you want to do is spread your chicken across the bottom of the pan and we're going to cook this for at least 30 to 40 seconds so we can sear the bottom of the chicken. Once you have the sear on it, we make sure that it's kind of starting to go kind of brownish. We're going to flip it over and then cook the other side until this is completely cooked. So go ahead put it all across your pan let it sear and then go and flip it over and once we get this completely cooked through we are going to remove it from the pan so go ahead and let this cook and do its deal and as you can see with mine it's already golden on one side and that's what we're going for here we want to make sure that the pink is gone by the time we remove this from the pan so go ahead and move it around make sure it's done and once yours is completely cooked we'll go ahead and set this aside on a plate until we're ready to work on the next part of this now after we take this out we will be using the same pan again and if it has debris in it that's perfectly fine it doesn't really matter so just go ahead and take out the chicken and we'll move on because we're going to put in the onion green pepper and red pepper to let it cook in the pan afterwards now when i used mine i used pepper onion blend which means it was all frozen and it slices of green pepper red pepper and onion 
Um, if you wanted to cut up your own, you could do like maybe a third of a cup of each and do it. Because basically this is about a cup of all of them together. So put a little oil back in the pan, which you need maybe about a tablespoon. And then just go ahead and bring in your peppers and onion. And we're going to cook these for a couple of minutes. We just want to basically get them to a point where they're not frozen anymore. If yours were frozen or otherwise soften them up a little bit. And then after that, we're going to add some minced garlic to this. So go ahead and move it around the pan, get it coated in the oil. And like I said, let it cook for just a couple of minutes. And then once we get this done, you are going to use at least, I would say a tablespoon of minced garlic. If you like garlic, you can add more to this. It's just kind of a taste thing. So as you can see, mine has had a minute in the pan. Everything is cooked really well. And I'm putting in my minced garlic. And we're gonna cook this for about a minute more. You don't wanna leave your minced garlic in there for more than a minute because then it'll start to kinda of like burn a little bit. And it really won't have a great taste. It'll kinda of have this burnt taste to it. You really don't want that. So go ahead and mix this up. And in a second, we're gonna stir up the sauce that we made that's gonna go into this pan with the vegetables. So go ahead and mix this around a little bit. Make sure everything is cooked really well. Now the sauce that we made up before, you basically are going to put this in here and we're going to cook it till it cooks down and becomes thick. So as you can see, mine is mixed up and ready to go. And when your pan is really hot and you see a lot of simmering going on like this, it's the perfect time to go ahead and add the sauce into this. Now when you put the sauce in, you are going to have to cook this for a couple minutes to actually get it to thicken. It will go pretty well because it has cornstarch in it and it will thicken up at a decent pace. So once we get this in, we want to stir it around a little bit, get the temperature back up in our skillet because this just took it down by adding the liquid to it. And once we get it up to temperature, we're going to add back in our chicken that we made earlier. So you see how mine thickened up. Now this is a very dark sauce, but once you put the chicken with it, it's going to work really well. This has a ton of flavor in it. This is something really that, it just has that punch of flavor that makes it taste really great. So at this point, you can go ahead and add your chicken in. And once the chicken is into the skillet, we're gonna let this cook for maybe about like four minutes or so, whatever, because we want the chicken to take on the flavor of what's already in the skillet. And, you know, just go ahead and mix it through so that way it's totally coated with the sauce and you have all these really great things in there like the peppers and the onion and all. It's just going to work together to have such an amazing flavor. And what we're going to do once this is cooked after like four, maybe five minutes, we're going to serve this over our rice. So go ahead and get that all in there. And then once it's in, mix it back and forth. Get the coating all over this because we want to make sure this chicken really has the flavor that it's going to take on from the sauce. And as you can see from the skillet, there's a lot going on here because the chicken actually is quite a lot in itself. But when you add in all the peppers and onion and all the other stuff, there's a lot here working and you're gonna serve it over rice. So, you know, if you were fixing this for a couple people, it's perfect because there's plenty of food here for two, maybe even three people to eat. So once you get this totally stirred up and you let it run for about four minutes or so, then we're going to go ahead and get our plate out and add some rice to it because the rice has already been cooked. We started that in the beginning and then we're going to serve this right over top. And that's basically how you're doing it. This is the whole meal. So just go ahead and bring out like a few spoons of this and add over top of it because I'm using a very large spoon to put this on top of it with, but I gotta tell you, this is something really great. It has such a flavor to it, and I think it's something you just might really like. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out the Southern Mountain Kitchen website, where you can get a free recipe, check out the cookbooks available from the Southern Mountain Kitchen, and if you'd like to, you could order a cookbook at a discounted price cheaper than Amazon with shipping that is also cheaper than Amazon. So if you get a chance, check it out, and I hope you have a great day.